Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got five game-changing Samsung tips that can literally make your phone feel brand new in 2025. Let's unlock your phone true power starting right now. Tip number one is turbocharge your Samsung with the RAM Plus feature. So RAM Plus, it is a great feature Samsung had ever pushed and nowadays this is much more useful and you must be thinking what ram stands for ram stands for random access memory this is a volatile memory it is a temporary memory it doesn't matter how much ram you have it doesn't matter what sort of device you have the only things that matters is how optimized device you have so if you have say 4 gig of ram and your device is optimized well guess what your device will run much much smoother than a, a device that has like 20 gig of ram so same goes with your pc same goes to anything else whatever you're using daily life now let's see how we can access it depending on wherever you are on swipe from right hand corner and then you can see settings icons press on the setting icon scroll down all the way to the bottom where you see device care. In device care, you'll see multiple options uh, starting from battery, storage, and memory. Now we are here for memory. We're gonna click on the memory, wait for a few seconds, and you will see uh, there's a lot of things happening in the background. There's a lot of background apps are getting used, and we're gonna close this background app later in the same video as well, and stay tuned. Here, we're gonna press clean. Once you press clean, you might get some uh, memory back. Now we got six gig available. If you don't know how much memory you have, if you see in the corner, it says, I get five out of 12. I only get five gig of um, you know, RAM available. And now we're gonna go and press memory again and you see RAM plus feature, click on that one. You might see different numbers. You might see two and four. But before that, if you have thing turned off, make sure you toggle that on and you might see this number. In my case, I got a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6. I have eight gig available. I'm gonna select eight gig and I'm gonna reboot my device. Once you reboot the device, you will see change of your device will run a much more smoother or efficiently and if you want to select it you want to come back here and then clean up the memory at the same time so that a lot of services runs in the background eats up your ram then come back here and then keep cleaning it up at the same time but we're going to move into next settings which will help you avoid all of this as well let's move into step number two tip number two which is a battery life saver so maximize your battery life like a pro one us 7 has a smarter power saving tools that most people overlook you must be thinking how can you do it we're gonna go into settings, scroll down in the settings. So we're gonna go in a battery section, which is right here. And then from here, make sure you turn on the battery protection, which is into adaptive. Majority of the people will keep it a basic because you want to get 100% every single time. But if you actually select uh, adaptive, uh, you can read here, which is stop charging 80% while you are asleep and switch back to basic before you wake up. Sleep time is estimated based on your phone user pattern. So we'll learn your pattern when you stop using phone and how often do you use phone and it will uh, stop 80%. And before you wake up, it's your phone is always 100%. And what this helps is they will help you your device run cooler that means your device will not overcharge every single time you're going to go in a battery user limit and then we, this thing will be turned off make sure you turn it back on so what this helps is it will learn how you actually use your device unused application to deep sleep that means you will not be running a lot of application on the background that means you will not be draining a lot of battery or if you want some specific app you don't want it to be deep sleep you can select that you can select whatever app you don't want and deep sleep but measure of the time if you don't use certain an app after you turn on the settings it will go back in a deep sleep state and it will actually stop using your uh, memory and save a little bit more battery you can turn on the power saving mode i uh, personally uh this is 120 hertz uh, display i don't like to uh, go back to 60 hertz that means it's a bit laggy if you have a device and that has a 120 hertz display why do you want to go back to 60 hertz? my personal opinion but if you like to save a little bit more battery put your power saving on and you will see a massive battery saving and you can see on the bottom here which is battery users what sort of application you use more you can see here so go back here and that's how you're going to save a battery like a pro now let's go to step number three you're going to reduce your anime guess what let's go here click on that one which is settings icon and then go all the way to about phone and then about phone in the software information you can see that and then when you select the software information press the build number seven times that means you're going to turn on the developer options you can go here and develop option is available once you have the developer setting on there you can do a whole lot of things but make sure be careful what you turn on here as well okay so let's go into settings which is developer settings now out of here we're going to go into windows animation scale so let's go down here so let's see windows animation scale if you have seen it i've turned it off so that's how you can see my phone feels much more faster so transition animation make it up to zero and you'll see a huge change over there 
there and then obviously to animation during scale you can turn it off 0.5 or 0.10 like don't go too slow if you turn on and turn off animation how laggy it feels even though you have a higher the ram so that this is called optimization if you turn that off you can see snappy it feels a lot much more snappy so this is going to be one of the good ones so let's go back here and then transparency and navigation bar you can turn that on as well and then don't change with anything else until unless you really want to mess up with your phone tip number four so let's turn your samsung into a mini dslr with pro mode so if you can uh, adjust a lot of things with the iso which is yeah, how much light you get shutter speed which is how much light you get when you click the photos and white balance depending on what sort of situation you're on when you take a photo or video it might matter um, you want a manual focus you want autofocus or things like that it is a perfect low light photography if you change the settings let's go and see where we're going to change the settings for camera let's go into camera settings and you can see this is a camera you can see it right here device there now we're going to go here and then from here depending on what a device you use and the one us 7 has changed a lot of things like a, a lot of settings icons very first thing is if you're using any device and have a higher mega pixel select that it makes a huge difference if you're taking a photo it's about the details of the photo well, if you're on 12 megapixel you might see a photo clean but once you start to zoom in and have a look on the quality you might see a little bit pixelated we're gonna go here and more when you are here and more you can do a raw photos which is a raw video format which is an exceptionally good thing so that means you can post production you do color grading and things like that uh, if you want to go in pro mode or pro video mode or night mode food uh slow-mo hyperlapse uh portrait video dual recording and single take and a lot of people don't know about these settings as well so let's go one thing at a time let's go in pro level once you're in pro level you can see you have an iso you can select the different iso that means again i mentioned that it's how much light you get through so you can see it high the iso the noisier it gets the lower the iso the better it is usually 800 iso is perfect and how much shutter speed it has to be double your frame rate and focus point you want to get a center multi manual you can see you can select a lot of things here multi so you can do multiple focus manual is if you just want to focus uh, manually you can do it. this is technically a dslr on your hand which is uh, one of the best things and if you don't know what it is you, there's an eye which is information icon you select it and you'll be able to see what it actually does so let's go back here if you swipe from here white balance which is again depending on uh, what sort of scenario or scene you're taking the videos or photos off then the, you want to sort of set to different white balance so after this you can shoot a video in a pro level now i'm going to give you another tip is a lot of people don't know you can do a dual recording at the same time that means if you have a multiple camera so you can select there's a different camera that means you have two cameras on this device you can see and you can do dual recording at the same time but if you want to switch it back and forth you can switch it back and forth between two different cameras while you're recording so you might see a video that you want to shoot and you want to check whether which one will have a better video then guess what uh, you can do that dual recording and you'll be able to see uh, the video quality one more thing is so if you go press four dot menu you're going to settings i, I want you to have a look on my settings and just copy this one so advanced picture option use a jpeg mode like it's just general one don't try to use raw and jpeg for me because it will take much more stories from your device if you want to take a raw footage if you are a professional you can do that and then you can do a post-production later on you can do a color correction and things like that save selfie as a preview you want to set as, as a starting then obviously you can do that but i don't like it swipe up and down to switch the camera if you don't know you can switch the camera just by swiping up and down like this and just by swiping up and down if you don't know you go back in settings again and video stabilization is very essential it is just a software based if you go to advanced video option make sure high efficiency is prior as the video quality fit to screen three by four expert ratio you can turn that on as well and i like the grid line on you can see here i like the grid so i can go back here if i swipe up i like the grid line so i can center whatever i'm taking a photo of. tip number five supercharge your samsung with a good luck app if you haven't used it you are missing out trust me it's one of the best thing and has a cool feature once you press open there are various tips and tricks you can do with the device and this is an inbuilt so that means you're not using any third party unknown sources you're using a samsung proprietary app out of here i can recommend a couple of things let's start with number one which is a nice catch so this is an important one remember i mentioned about battery drainage your ram and everything so nice catch will do exactly the same thing if you haven't downloaded scroll down you see you we might see a download option like an arrow down once you get it open and you're gonna see a uh, 
every single thing you can track every single application it will track background it will vibrate system sound post pop-ups and more so if your phone vibrates randomly or drain battery this will help you find out that particular application so make sure you turn this application on you must be thinking what's the point of this one if you open this up you can see these application actually made as we just sound so you can pinpoint which application actually makes sounds you can go back here these application made a vibration so it's using a vibration motor this application will help you to pin down if there are any an application that's running on the background and you don't know what's running this will help you to pinpoint so this is one of the great good luck applications okay this sums up my total top five tips and tricks for your android device to make it run smoother and much more efficient and if you like this type of video guys subscribe to the channel it would be highly appreciated and comment down below which one is your favorite tips and then is that working for you or not and meanwhile guys stay happy be safe this is genius x6 signing out peace